Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I am Tina BQ Trung and I'm an emotional wellness coach. I am also the owner of Quintessential Energy Focus. Today, we are going to use emotional freedom techniques or EFT or tapping to release the fear of failure. I'm going to assume that you are already familiar with EFT or tapping. So I'm not going to explain the tapping points. However, I will mention that we are going to use the basic recipe. Before we start, gauge the intensity of your fear of failure between one and 10. 10 is the fear is very strong, very intense. And one is you're aware there is a fear, but it doesn't bother you one bit. And the other thing is also pay attention where you feel this fear in your body. For some people, it may be on their shoulders. For others, it could be on the chest. And for others, it could just be in the head. So make note of all of those details. And let's get and let's start so on the side of the hand. Repeat after me. Even though I'm afraid of failure, I acknowledge how I feel and I'm open to find a way to clear this fear while accepting myself completely and totally. Now you can repeat the sen that statement two more times or you can just move on with the next tapping point. This fear of failing to do things. Every time I think about taking actions, I hesitate. Every time I consider to do things, I find other things more urgent to do. I, every time, I want to do things that move me forward. I procrastinate. Part of me is afraid of the disappointment that may result if I don't do it well. Part of me is afraid of letting myself and others down if the result do not turn out what I expect them to be. And because I'm afraid of failing and of disappointment, I hold myself back. I keep delaying and delaying. In the meantime, I become frustrated and critical of myself because I don't have the success that I want. I judge myself harshly for not being where I want to be. Part of me knows that my fear of failure is doing its job of keeping me safe. But another part of me thinks that part is working over time. In fact, it's working too hard at keeping me out of hurt. It's holding me back. It is like this invisible barrier that prevents me from moving forward. It's like invisible handcuffs that locked my hands up. But there is also another part of me that knows it is safe to take the actions that I want to take. Taking the actions that I want to take does not mean I put myself in danger. Taking actions does not mean I cannot create a safe space for me. So 
that I would be protected from hurt, whether the hurt is real or not. So right here, right now, I choose to take a moment and create a safe space for me and to prepare myself for any outcome. I choose to give myself some space for unexpected result to materialize. I choose to be gracious and hold space for myself to safely do the things that I want to do. I choose to leave this fear in the back seat as I take actions. I choose to remind myself that I am safe. It is safe for me to move forward by taking actions. <laughs>